it has been apparent from our last few videos within the comments that most of you think that we need to bring on some kind of help for the bill that everything has taken us a little too long. So we have been reading those and today we are bringing on somebody new to see if they can tackle all of the tasks of building a boat. I think I just heard our help pull up, so let's go see. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Bonjour, mon ami. Bonjour. Yeah, uh, first day on the job. I'm late. That is okay, we forgive you. So this is our intern for today, Sophie. And if you don't already know, she's got her own channel, Ryan and Sophie Sailing. And she has come stocked with a bunch of goodies that don't seem like they fit into a boat build. What do you got there? Food. We have some uh, cookies. Oh. We have some uh, steaks. Oh First my of gosh. Back, and obviously some beers. Nice. Because I, I feel like I'm going to need at least four. <laughs> Thanks so too. By the end of the day. The benefits of having a European come work with you for the day? Start out your morning with some cannoli. All right, Sophie, so right behind you is Yard Boy. Hi, Yard Boy. If you need anything today, just go outside and start yelling Yard Boy and he'll come running and get you. What, what, what kind of services do you offer? Can I go outside and, uh, and scream, Yard Boy, ice cream. Absolutely. Oh wow. Got He's at our beck and call. Got chocolate chip cookie dough on the boat. You guys, this is a full service marina. It really is. Oh my god. All right, Sophie, we are just about ready to get to work for the day. I see that you've got your flight suit on, your that gloves right. on. The first step to interning on our boat, the first task is can you actually get on it? So those are the steps. Kind of an awkward jump. See if you can manage. You know, Ryan and I were climbers, so we're kind of used to, you know, awkward. Um, this is awkward, though. It is. Um, it is high. It's yeah. It might. You gotta stop. work, work those <laughs> quads. <laughs> it's probably gonna stop if you or Chris from getting it. Okay, let's put on Tyvex and uh, do the first task of the day. Let's do it. I am so excited. This new catamaran has so much more space for us to be able to put solar. So we would like to thank Bouge RV for sponsoring this portion of the video and sending us two of their 200 watt flexible solar panels. The great thing about these panels is they can actually rotate 360 degrees, whereas most other flexible panels will max out at 30 degrees. So even if you have really odd shaped areas, they're still going to fit. And as you all know, we're paying attention to every single ounce we are adding to our performance catamaran. Another thing we love about these panels is that they're so thin, they actually come out to only 6.7 pounds. Plus, these panels can be walked on, laid on, and even struck without breaking. So if we have them across our cabin top, I could walk up, work on the mast, and even if I happen to drop a winch handle on one of them, there is no worry about damage to the panel. You can order the panels with holes in them that can be drilled in, or in our case, you can get it with the adhesive back, so we're not quite ready to stick them on just yet, but if we were, all we'd have to do is clean off the surface, take off the backing, and stick it into place. And those who are only looking for temporary use, they can easily be rolled up and stored out of the way when not in use. We did take it outside to give it a little test and we hooked it up to one of our portable power stations to see what kind of power it was gonna bring in. Unlike traditional silicone panels, these are made from CIGS, a thin film solar technology. There is a diode position between each power cell to ensure stable power output even under partial shading conditions. And with an IP68, it'll hold out through all of the tough conditions we expect to put it through. These are a great setup for any person who likes to enjoy life off the grid, so make sure to click the link in our description box below and get 15% off of your own solar panels today. One of the big things for Matt and I switching over from our last aluminum boat to this catamaran, of course, not only performance, we're looking forward to sailing well again, but we couldn't bring friends with us before, and so now we're gonna have two extra berths that a bed doesn't flip down into the space. Nothing is gonna stop us from having people on. 
And so because we're hoping that Ryan and Sophie will come visit us and this will be their birth when they do, I figured what better for a place for Sophie to start her day of work than her future bunk because if she messes up in here at all as she's sanding or fairing, she's gonna notice it when she sleeps here. Okay, we've got Sophie all suited up here. I've got my Tyvex and we're about to start sanding down fiberglass in the guest aft cabin. Woo. This is the part of the berth where the cockpit seats come into it. Uh, this is the back of our cockpit seats. Matt and I had added that fiberglass a while ago to close that area out. So I'm gonna put her to the test of getting all of like the shiny resin parts off and get it ready for fairing compound after lunch. And as you can see, this area is full of obstacles because this is where our uh, hybrid engine will go, the diesel and electric. So we're stepping over that, but just enough things to climb over, potentially trip over, she should be okay. I did not think that I needed a particular hairstyle. It turns out you do, you need a low pony. Oh, can you breathe again now? And you can't be claustrophobic. Okay, I'm gonna proper hairstyle for a full face mask. Let's get all that hair covered. No. You look like a pretty good sperm right now. Okay, so you're gonna end up pulling these and these to tighten. Okay. Got a hand sander, nice and heavy for Sophie, but at least we don't have to worry about cords. Some 40 grit sandpaper, and we're going to tackle the inboard wall of her guest cabin. If we look over on this side here, you can still see there's like a little, little bits of resin. So we're gonna try and blend those in. And up here also, we're just gonna try and like blend some of these. We're not removing, we're just gonna kind of clean up the area. We need to just generally key the surface, but we also want to get rid of any resins, things like that, because then the fairing compound will just flake off. Yeah, that area actually is perfect. Really? Yeah. How, how are you feeling about it so far? I mean, just like general sand, suiting up and sanding. I mean, this is good, but also I only have two pedals to do. I can't imagine how it would be like doing this. Like, do you do all of it? Oh my God. <laughs> all right, well. All right. Go my side. Exactly, get back out. There's no brakes here. Sophie has successfully removed the necessary uh, resin that's blended surfaces down. So we need it to warm up just a little bit before we can put fairing compound, but let's go see what Matt is doing on the main thing, which means we get to take off these suits. Oh, really? Yes. Yep. Oh, wow. Including the... Well, you might end up putting that back on. <laughs> All right, where's Maddie J? I can hear scraping. I think he's over our heads. Round in the front and up. Right now, Matt looks like he's getting ready to glass the seams of our cabin top, which we had just put together last week. As you can tell, the fiberglass has got ground off, and now we're ready to like make it look like one whole piece. Okay. Crawl, 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 crawl. We're gonna start right in there, and sort of start jamming it in there. Not hard work at all. It needs to be artistic. Only the weight of two people can be allowed on the cabin top right now, so I'm taking a step back while Sophie is trying her hand at filling cracks with our thickened resin from Total Boat, and I, I think she's having a ball already. No, without tooting my own horn, I'm very good at this. Good, good. We'll see, we'll see when we get the glassing part. 30 seconds in, she's a pro. So this morning, Ryan, a couple of months ago, said on the live on YouTube without consulting me first, ah, oh, we should organize repeat parties where we invite subscribers and patrons to come help us do work on the boat. And now I'm like, I'm looking at Matt teaching me all that stuff. And I'm like, 
I don't think we can do it. <laughs> and I was giving Ryan shit because uh, I was like, well, you promised that we were going to do that. We can't let people down. And I'm like, oh, wait, this is a lot of work. <laughs> Are you freestyling? No, no, I am dedicated to making this good. <laughs> no, I meant you're posing. Oh. That's, it's oh, very yoga-esque. Yeah. You the look like downward. Barnacle. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sophie has just learned as she's feeling the seam that Matt has catalyzed our resin at 2%, which means it's going to kick faster. She now has the added task of doing it perfectly and hurriedly. So far, so good. <laughs> I am here for it. Sophie, if our roof falls apart, I blame you. Make sure uh, you're properly filling all of those cracks. We will come find you. Yes. Uh, and then you have to give us your boat because you'll have broken ours. We are totally throwing Sophie into the deep end. She just told us this is her first time working with resin. It'll be her first time working with fiberglass. If you like a nice custom made handle, <laughs> we're for it. About a year's worth wow. of resin. Wow, you guys really have quality tools. You like that? Oh, yeah. wow. All right, now just down the center line. Your time is up. Yep, your time is up. <laughs> Get enough playing with it. You can see that white popping through. Yeah. That's air bubbles you're getting out of it. So with big ideas, you gotta put some force into it. Yep. Just push it down. You got it. Ugh. Yep. <laughs> Walking bar world. <laughs> I remember this was the most frustrating part when we first started, just trying to get those bubbles out. Uh-huh. Piece of shit. Move, bitch. Get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, I know what I should title this episode that could have gets to 100K. Yes. Matt trades me for a new brunette. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so act like you guys are in love. Uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all kinds of weird. <laughs> Although Sophie and I are still gonna try our hands at putting some fairing compound in that aft berth a little bit later, Matt has prepped the same seam underneath. This? So That's we're gonna go ahead out. and try and do the same exact thing. We're gonna put the polyester fairing compound on there, glass it. Um, but luckily I don't think we need to do peel ply because that will have a drop down overhead. So looks there aren't really oh, as important. Getting styrene wipe on the overhead knob. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know that scene in Spaceballs where the guy is at the diner? and the other one eats something and the alien like pops out of his stomach and dances away. Now that Sophie has put her head suck on, it's kind of what she looks like, but let's see how her and Matt are doing up there as Sophie works overhead for the first time. Okay, so we've got Matt filling the gap here and we have Sophie making a ramp with one of our squeegees. So if you think you're a natural boat builder. Thank you. I, uh, I feel this way. You know, I came today thinking that the answer, should we build a boat, was going to be a resounding no. But this is fun, you guys. I like it. 
And we also got temperatures warming up in here. What is the number? 66. We all have the sperm hats on now. Is it? I know, second. So now that you've like started working over your head, how do you think it compares to working on the top of the cabin? Oh, I'm insane. <laughs> oh, I don't know about. I don't know about that. Whew. So we have to do two layers of this on each side. So oh, wow. you're about one fourth of the way through this task. Oh, my back hurts. Okay. Oh yeah, and my nose hurts too. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. started this project she was about four inches taller but being hunched over has kind of shrunk her down now. No. <laughs> How are you feeling about boat work now? Uh, does, that, does it come with a, with a massage therapist? I can walk on your back later. Ooh. It does come with beer at the end of the work day. That's good that's a perk. Oh. Sophie did an amazing job of I was basically the filler today she was the one rolling but we just talked to yard boy who has two coffees coming for real for real no way yes and then we're just gonna do the quickest little introduction to fairing before we go have a beer at the beach is there such a thing as a quick introduction to fairing we'll find out <laughs> awesome Look at that. thank you thank you Tucker oh wow Alex Ben. Uh, oh, that coffee shows good. Yeah. Don't step in the hole. Don't trip on the cords. Don't die in like the last 15 minutes of work. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. The satisfying peel of Wow. Paper. The area that we glassed this morning and put peel ply on is ready for the peel ply to come off. So I feel like it's only fair that Sophie gets the satisfaction of yanking it off. Ah, oh, so smooth. These flat walls, the one in the aft area that I did a few days ago, and then what Sophie sanded this morning, we're gonna give them a styrene wipe and then just apply a little bit of fairing compound just so she can see what the motion's like of trying to get a nice smooth finish on that and uh, get her thoughts on the experience. <laughs> oh, I got my 10 inch spatula here, so they to fair and compound here. Okay, this is our flat area already, and I'm just going to kind of smooth it on. Yeah, it's got some chunks. Oh no, it has some chunks. <laughs> we're going to stay away from the seams because we're trying to create this right. flat surface first. Do we do go in the middle? Yep. Okay. Uh, is it me or I am doing a piece for job? Do each side and like flip it over and get rid of gunk on that side. And then you'll do another pass to try and get it like right up the Yep. Okay. 
There you go, that's better. Awesome. So I'm also pleased, Jenna. I apparently got some on my gloves here, and then I keep like wiping my face, and I'm like, why does my face burn? Well, duh, Jessica, you just like wiped a catalyzed thing all over it. Oh, that's well. That was a bad idea. <laughs> So yeah, like load your thing up and just get it down there. Like even if you like want to take the pass down just to get it right. in there. Yep, starting about there. And then like don't worry if it's not smooth right now, you can go back like later and smooth it into place. Oh my god, I feel so bad for whoever is gonna send this. That's gonna be me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're gonna style my hair for boat show, so it's a trade-off. I, I promise I will. <laughs> so. Sophie has the most gorgeous hair in the world. That was supposed to be part of today's. She was gonna teach me how to style my hair, but we're running out of time. This will both be in Annapolis next week for the spring show, which by the way, make sure to come get 50% off of your tickets using code MJSALE23. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. I've been forgetting to tell people. Uh, come see us at the Annapolis Boat Shows and we're gonna be doing a sale on the schooner Woodwind Saturday the 29th. More details in the description box below too. Well, let's get back to Sophie. Anyway, she's gonna style my hair that week because I could never do that myself. Let's do this. Okay. It's looking good. So try and get it as good as you can, but definitely don't worry about perfection this early into it. Oh, and look, it's smooth, and now it's gone. I think she's getting the hang of this, and I think we're gonna have to start hiring her more. <laughs> I will gladly just handle the camera while she does all the work. <laughs> No, I, um, it's, it sucks. No, it doesn't. It looks like shit. You were doing great for a first attempt, believe me. How nice is Sophie? Not only did she volunteer her time to come work for us today, she also brought the beers to finish our day with. So I'm going to end my video here. We're about to head down to the beach where Sophie's going to do a Q&A for Matt and I about the boat build, all of the questions she has built up for us. So make sure to go ahead and check out their video on this. I would put out a link, but it's not coming out for two weeks after ours, but we'll put a link to their channel so you can go subscribe and keep an eye out for that. And let's just do a really quick closing on Sophie's thoughts of boat building and if she'll ever be back. You have successfully completed a day of a catamaran build. Congratulations, Yay! you kicked butt. That was so much fun. So then the question is, do you think you could build a boat yourself? Would you want to? I have to be honest, it's, it's a pass. Uh, you know, uh, no. <laughs> I, have, know. I, I have a lot of admiration for, you know, the undertaking. Uh, but also when you started this undertaking, I think that not a lot of people understand how many skills, how much skills you came with. You went into that project already knowing a lot. And I, I had never applied resin anywhere. <laughs> so I think, uh, I think I'm going to take a pass. Uh, but uh, definitely I have a way better level of understanding for uh, how crazy your project is. <laughs> So we tried to bring on help, and many of you said that we should. Um, it's just apparently more work than Sophie wanted to take on. I don't think she's gonna come back, but we still appreciate that she came Aww. for the day. Thank you. And I mean, look, in the comment section, there's probably gonna be a lot of people being like, oh my God, look at her fairing, like blah, 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 blah. She did great. And uh, yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> uh, you're way too nice. But uh, you know, uh, today also made me realize that it would be actually really difficult for you to bring on help. And, uh, with, and be able to trust those people 100%. Uh, it's work, it's more work to have people help you than to just do it yourself. Yeah. There, there is a big learning curve if you haven't been doing boat building your entire life. It's, that's a great but. Uh, you guys, yes. this is the first time that I'm gonna get to meet George. We've got a cat, we've got beers, we're headed to the beach, so I'm gonna end here. But again, make sure to check out Ryan and Sophie sailing, and we thank her so much for coming to the tent today to lend her time. <laughs>